All right, so I was about to use my uh, uh, final bonding point. Music. Hmm. Damdala and Amol Thomas. Are those Vantage Master's cards? What are you up to, Muse? Oh, just a little fortune telling. I heard you could use these cards like you would like you would tarot cards. Is there anything in the future you'd like to know about? The future? You mean like the real you mean like real exercises? Something like that. Although I'm having some trouble interpreting the meaning behind the cards. Let's just say it means your destiny is in your own hands. I'm not sure I've got any clue either, but she seems to be deep in thought. Oh, I hear you're really good at Vantage Masters. How about we take a break and have a match? Why, I would be honored to have a match against you, Instructor Reed. All I ask is that you be gentle with me. Right. And so, Reed and Musa prepared their decks and began their duel. It was a fierce battle with no clear winner right up to the final turn, and in the end... Our masters destroyed each other. That makes the tie, no? I didn't expect such a heart-pounding match. You're an amazing, you're amazing instructor. So are you, Musa. I remember thinking this when we were at the casino in Raquel. But you sure are good at these kind of games, aren't you? Is it your grandfather's influence? Indeed, he taught me a lot about card and board games. My father would often play against me too. Before he passed away, that is. Your father? He passed away about 10 years ago, didn't he? Yes, I was about 5 or 6 at the time. He trained me so well, I would occasionally beat him in chess too. Wow, so I guess even at a young age you were talented. So then, when are you pl when are you planning this uh, your true strength? Oh, I'm sure I have no idea what you're talking about. I could tell you weren't giving it your all in our match. You were much more fearsome of an opponent when you went up against that Jaeger King in that at the casino. Like I said before, everyone in class 7 supports each other. If they're giving it everything they've got on your behalf, isn't it unfair if you don't do the same? You surely are amazing. I would be more than honored to show you the full extent of my gaming abilities. However, there will be one condition. A condition? The winner will get to make one demand of the loser. That a serious bout should feature a serious prize, wouldn't you agree? Should you manage to win, I'll do anything you ask, anything at all. Whether you request to spend a romantic evening with me under the stars, or if you want me to tell you the reason why you see St. Patrick were acting the way they were in La Mer. Honestly, I was curious about that. Is something going on? That said, I'll put a handicap on myself. If you manage to defeat, defeat me once out of three games, you shall have the reward. However, if I win all three games, I shall be the victor and take you as my prize. Well, well, you're that confident, huh? I just need to win once out of three games, but even that might prove a challenge. Alright, I'll agree to your terms. There's no way I can back down now. Alright, let's get our decks out and do this. Very well, if that's what you want, then I won't hold back. And so the three matches began between Reen and an unfettered Mesa. They both used unopened decks then they had that they hadn't seen before. Though Reen was unfamiliar with the cards, the decks were equal in power, however. And they vanished to end the match. Your master is defeated. Eh. I activate Carabell's skill and your master is defeated. We 
got me again. And this brings us to our final match. As things stand, I feel I'll be able to win this final match with these. Man, this deck should be pretty even, but you're still destroying me. Who knew experience with games would make such a huge difference? I sincerely doubt you will be able to turn the tide at this point. Whatever will you do now? This was never a fair matchup to begin with. If you forfeit now, I'll cancel your... No, it's still too early to throw in the towel. I've got one card in my deck I can use to turn things around. If I manage to draw it before you defeat me, I can use it to make a comeback. Oh? I suppose you're right, your chances of winning are greater than zero, if it was like me. That's all I need. Unfortunately, I'm not the type to give up. Let's take this match to the set. Bring it on. Reduce every card it has to desperately parry each of these at that. And at the final turn before his master's health was depleted, it arrived. I got it. I summon Greon. It attacks your master's twice. Ah. My master's health is zero. I lose. Ah, I actually did it. It <laughs> seems I underestimated you. I didn't think you could pull off such a comeback. I had full control of the board, yet you still managed to thread a narrow path to victory. Yeah, but it came down to the wire. In the end, I had to rely on my luck. Your ability to analyze the situation and predict your opponent's actions is amazing, but not everything can be planned for. As you've seen in our field exercises, unexpected events can happen at any time. Understood. That was, it was a fine lesson instructor. I will keep it near to my heart. Now, what will you have as your prize? I was the one who set the rules for, your, for our match, so please, don't hold back. Tell me whatever it is your heart desires. Though I'm certain you plan to ask about No, I won't. I'm curious about the circumstances at Lemire, but I'm sure there's an important reason that Jesus St. Patrick wouldn't say anything. I don't feel like it's right for me to ask about it like this. But more importantly, I'm glad I was able to bring the best out of you. Nothing could make me prouder as an instructor. Oh. Oh yes, how very like you, instructor. And that's the reason I want you, for the future. Hmm? And yet, a promise is a promise. Please choose one of these two cards. Hmm? What are you up to? You choose the fifth finale, so you win the... I'll wear the my school uniform and, cl and clean your ears prize. What? Hold on a minute. I really don't need a prize and there's no use to try and do refuse. After all, it would bring shame to a woman of the Empire were she not to keep her promises. Surely you're not trying to make me do anything shameful, Instructor Reed. Uh, no, but... <laughs> well then, I'll go get changed. So please lie down. And so Reen was forced to receive Musa's prize. It may have been relaxing, but if he didn't have but if he didn't have to constantly look out for others, it wouldn't have. The one with Musa has strengthened. If that's not a weird ending, I don't know what is. If that wasn't a weird ending, I don't know what is. Alright, where to next? Back to my room. Should I head back to my room now? 
and get ready for tomorrow. Yes. That's actually a nice violin playing. It reminds me of the first game. The piano in the background and everything. That song was called Under the Bright Shining Sky, and it was beautifully performed by a remarkable young musician named Elliot Craig. Isaac Speaking Craig. of the sky, his popularity has been skyrocketing. Fun fact, the piano accompaniment was played by his sister, a famous pianist in her own right. Rumor has it, he'll be releasing a new record soon, and I absolutely cannot wait. Next up, we've got some letters from our listeners. Let's see. Wow, his music's getting played on Aben time. Yeah, it must be really living, giving it his all. And the piano accompaniment, accompany, accompaniment must have been Fiona. I'm glad the two of them play together. It'd be great to hear him play live. Maybe I'll ask him about it when I see him in Heimdall. Our next letter comes to us from Fluffy Mint in the Heimdall area. Huh? Good evening, Miss Misty. I always look forward to your show. I'm a student at a certain academy, and I can't stop thinking about one of my instructors. Oh god. I've been trying to make a move on him, but he just won't take me seriously. What should I do, Miss Misty? Ah, some romantic advice, is it? Secret love between teacher and student. Oh, how bittersweet. But she called him her instructor. Does that mean she goes to some special school? The plot thickens. Well, I really shouldn't, but why not try getting him alone next week during the Capitol Summer Festival? Don't be too aggressive out of the gate. Remember, you're teacher and student, so take advantage of that and work from there. Let's say he's, I don't know, a history teacher. Ask him about something related to class, like the history of Heimdall. Oh god, she knows. Walk together. If you keep spending time with him like that, then maybe by the time you graduate, you'll have found your way into his heart. Just kidding. Misty knows oh, everything. And I hope none of you out there are thinking, worry about yourself before you give relationship advice to others. Because I'll have you know, my heart already belongs to all my dear listeners. And that's more than enough for me. Now, moving right along. Fluffy Min, could she have been any more obvious? And uh, Misty's advice was way too odd. That about wraps up this week's show. Like I mentioned earlier, Heimdall's Summer Festival starts next week. I hope you're all able to enjoy the festivities and maybe have a tearful reunion with some old friends. You know too Summer's much. Summer's finally in full swing now, but keep an eye out for sudden shifts in the weather and make the most of your time. My name is Misty and I'll be signing off. I hope to see you all again next Aubin time. I swear Vita knows everything. Shifts in the weather. What did she mean by that? No, I shouldn't put too much weight on her words. Um, I'm swamped with gra with grading tests, Panzer solar training, and field exercises as it is. Oh, and I made a pro made a promise to tow it too. All right, everything should be set now. Oh, it's almost time. Oh, there he is. Good evening, Reed. It's good to see you again. Hey, Alisa. You too, Emma and Marcus. Sorry I'm a little late. Why is Celine on the call, screen? No worries, we just started the call now, just now. This feels kind of strange considering we just saw each other. Oh, I'm guessing you turned into up in time, right, Reed? Oh yeah, you too, Marcus. The time is too perfect to be coincidence. I was listening too. And that woman is so frustrating. 
We're running all over trying to find her and she's just taunting us over the radio. It does relieve me to hear her voice every week though. The broadcasts are pre-recorded, right? I wonder if anyone knows where she is. I have been considering trying to track her from the record from the recordings she leaves. It would probably be better to ask Alisa about her father another time. What's wrong, Reed? Oh, it's nothing. Ah, oh, right. Our next field exercises are going to be in Heimdall. Ah. Oh. Really? Excellent. That means that we can be we can be being preparing for class seven's reunion. It feels like it's been forever since the last time we were all together. Yeah, so true. We need to decide on a place and time. Let me know as soon as you figure something out. We'll need to contact the others, Elliot, Gaius, Yusuf, and Milio. Alright, will Fee, Laura, and the Trucker Sarah be there with you, Reed? I've heard some crazy rumors. Oh, actually, before we get to that, can you tell us about Fluffy Mint from the radio? Um, so it was you she was talking about after all. I figured that was the case as soon as Misty mentioned the capital. Now I'm curious, give us the details, Reed. Isn't she one of the students who just joined your class? Well, I can't say for sure that it is her just yet. It's probably just Misty trying to mess with me. That is definitely something I can see her doing. Yeah, but we have to admit. After Rain had finished preparing for the next day's class, he met with Toa on the roof of the school building. Together they prepared for the astronomy lesson before the students arrived. Alright, everything looks good now. Rain, can you come give it a look too? Sure thing. Wow, this is amazing. The sky is just full of stars. It feels like I could reach out and touch them. Right? Tonight's the perfect night for star gazing. Thank you, Reen. I'm glad we I'm glad you went through the trouble of fixing my grandfather's telescope. No, thank you, Tower. Without you, I wouldn't have been able to get such an amazing look at this starry sky. I guess we helped each other out then. But really, thank you Reed for always giving me strength and courage. I'm really grateful to you, even from back when we were students. Toa. Oh, there they are. This is where we're going to uh, do in the astronomy lesson, right? Um, <laughs> looks like we walked in on quite the moment. Th that's not true. Settle down, guys. Looks like everyone's here now. So let's get started. Wow, it's beautiful. You know, I believe it's proper to let the youngest go through this. Oh, so you're going to be the youngest when it's convenient for you, is, is that it? My, but it truly is a gorgeous starry sky we have on our over our side. I gave up on having this lesson at first, but we were able to make it happen anyway. Now I know that we can overcome anything together. Yeah, let's keep doing our best together. The extracurricular lesson turned out to be a big success. And the branch campus bonds were strong were, were even stronger for the next few exercises. Yeah, bond with Tower strengthened. It's maxed. Hmm. Save. I have two save slots. I really don't like that. 
While some people prefer rotating slots, having multiple slots and rotating them, I like to think my decision shall be permanent, so... I don't like doing that unless I absolutely have a necessary reason to have multiple. Hmm. Case in point, going back to get those API I missed. Are you serious? Sydney's 88. You now hit 45, win 60. <laughs> Not bad at all! 52. Yeah, Sandy seems about six. right. Pablo oh, and man. I'm a right dunce when it comes to literature. I... I got a good score! Hooray! Yeah, <sighs> right in the middle of the bell curve. <gasps> what a relief! Well, technically I got above average, uh, right? True. Ah, oh, nice! That's what I expected, I guess. So it got two. I wish I'd done a little better. <laughs> oh, hey! I got a pretty good score! Huh. Not bad. <laughs> Decent. Within the expected range. Fierce competition. What I'd expect from a prestigious school. <laughs> My hard work has paid off. The two highest scores are... I got the lowest score at the branch campus. And Kurt got third place. No fear. All you must do is work harder next time. His highness was first, then second and fifth on main campus today. I didn't do too bad, but I still ended up using Gash. Gotta hand it to you, man. Don't go over estimate. Wow, Missy, you in the top 10. <laughs> but you got the perfect score on the on technology section, Tita. Nice workout. I got the score I expected, but I'm a little frustrated I didn't do, do well on the written answer questions. My score is not bad, but am I the lowest in class 7? I mean, what the heck? Everyone else is in the top 20. How's that fair? Good time you say show are amazing. Don't forget Altina and Ash. They scored really high too. Yeah, this sheet's got the rankings by class. Wow, we're tied for first place. Yeah, I was expecting class 1 to be the first. Outside the top 3, the scores were pretty stacked. Perhaps we've shown some branch campus pride. <laughs> I can just see the pressure to look on those main campus students' faces. But man, good job, Kurt. You got third place. Top score at the branch campus. Yeah, I certainly put my all into it. But His Highness got first, and that girl who got second. Is she the one that showed up during Panther Solar training? I think the guy who got 5th is the other one. I feel like you could have aimed for a higher score, Ash. That's rich coming from you. You got, you got in 90s fishier than hell. You got a lower score on purpose, didn't you? Oh my, I think you may have over, I think you may be overestimating me a touch. This seems like a trust issue, but in reverse. Enough about everyone's high scores. <laughs> You're not jealous? Not too shabby, huh? Yeah, everyone really put their all into it. Right. While still keeping up with their club activities, no less. Academics is not about winning or losing. That said, I'm pleased to see we're able to keep pace with the main campus. And now that we're done with all that, we can announce the next field exercise location. But before that, and one thing we talked about is really going to shock everyone. Yeah, I was pretty flawed when I heard that. Heard it from the professor. Can't believe it's that type of man for so long. Well, don't look at me. That was the first I'd heard of it too.
thank you all three nice morning buttons of soul that training what is this it's the big one colossal panther soul that color noah It's friggin' enormous. <laughs> yes, this is another Panzer Soldat. Its name was Goliath, correct? The Imperial Army uses approximately 10 of these. But why is one here? Rather, how is one here? It's way too big to bring by train. Uh, maybe an airship? Maybe an airship? Yeah, that's exactly right. It was delivered late last night, hanging by cables from three military airships. That's ridiculous. I didn't even notice. Hmm, that explains the engine sounds I heard. Ooh, so that's what that mountain sized shadow was. You were watching it? See? We got a sudden notice from the Imperial government. They want us to test out the new model of giant soldat. But since it can't be transported by train, we can only borrow it for a short time. We're going to have everyone try it out and do a mock battle with it. But understood. You can see its appearance is very elegant. The operations check is all finished. You can get it moving anytime now. Tita and all of you in military finance, I'll need, I'll need help with all the maintenance stuff. Yes. Now this is what I'm talking about. Troops, you cannot beat it. It's the final model listed in his notes. By, but why send it here now? Man, I really tried that thing out for a little bit. I could really tell it's way too complicated to expect students just to pick up. Yeah, apparently even an, even the Imperial Army, there are only a few who can handle it. Five from the Imperial Liberation Front must have from the must must have been really pretty talented. To be honest, I'd rather not end up in a situation where we need such a massive war machine. No arguments here, on top of that, it's a huge plane to lug around. Pain to lug around. That's enough Wade. You're up next, uni. Enough with that uni thing already. Good work. I don't know about that, I feel defeated. I didn't expect it would be so difficult for me to grasp its controls. <laughs> it's got great power, but it's way too slow. Indeed, it doesn't seem suited for sniping either. I don't really hate it, but it's not very balanced. I think it might be pretty confusing unless you're used to handling lots of power like... You. Me. It is true that I am used to controlling climbs to lives. You were also concerned about not being able to find a model that felt right for you. Yeah, what if this one's up your alley? Okay, last but not least, tell Tina. I'll give it a try. Good luck. Do be careful. Orbital engine engaged. All actuators on. Altina Orion, beginning test operation of Goliath Noah. Ooh, you got it. This is the best it's done yet.
Hey, not bad at all. Yeah, we might be able to have a mock battle with it. Okay, that's enough. Altina, think you're from mock battle? It'll be you against multiple machines. Mission accepted. Ready for practice combat. You know, Kurt, Musa, and Dash, board your machines. You got it. She'll be quite the opponent. Feels kind of unfair for all of us to be getting up on that little bunny. Oh, I don't know. We may be, we may get hurt if we don't give it our all. The match will be over when either the guard or all four of the other machines would are damaged. But don't forget, it's a mock battle. Try not to get too crazy. Try not to go too crazy. Okay then, ready, go. Changing partners. You can swap partners during Divine Night Battle by pressing right. If anyone in the battle becomes incapacitated, as a reserve, a reserve combatant will take their place. I feel like Kurt will be the better option. You just glad to HP to TTP Okay, so Alright, there's no more stuns. Maybe arm. Um. <laughs> Wide open! It's mine! <laughs> My it's turn! Jump. <laughs> it's down! It's mine! <laughs> My turn! Yeah! It's mine! Yeah! Charging. Here I go! Take this! Wide open! It's mine! My turn! Sure. Now, hate this. That's what you get for being careless. Not hood. Here I go. Yeah. Our chance. It's mine. Let's go. There! At once! Leave it to me! It. Uh, there! <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> <laughs> Mistral <Mistral's> Blade! Blade. <laughs> nice. Sure. It's down. It's mine. All right. Yeah. Wide open. It's mine. My turn. Yeah. There. It's mine. I got this. Spirit. All right. <laughs> Wide open! It's mine! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> there! It's mine! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Seems to be pretty focused on. Sure! Our 
Everyone ready? Leave it to I me! It. <laughs> it's mine! <laughs> And I did it. Nice. <laughs> well, look at that. Everyone leveled up except Alpina. I must I'm train nice. even more. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I grew a little. We just needed to damage it a little, right? Indeed, it appears we made a crack in its auto armor. <laughs> we won, but it sure doesn't feel like a victory. Yes, this may be a very difficult machine to face in a true battle. Alright, that's enough. Good job, Yaltini. Yaltini. <laughs> Altina, can you hear me? Altina, there's something wrong. She ain't moving at all. The hell? This is... this. Everyone, defensive position. Ugh. What the? Altina! What's going on? Can she not hear us? Climb has taken over. Did she lose control? I'll jump in the Hector and... No, I'll go. Valamar. Acknowledge. Instructor. We leave this to you. Valama, can you detect what's going on inside that machine? Scanning into another area. It seems the girl is in a trance-like state. I don't know the details, but it seems highly likely she is operating the machine while unconscious. In order to stop her, you must cause her to regain consciousness. Why is this happening? Alright, I'll make an opening and then quickly strike the company. Let's go, Valama. Leave it to me. Let's go! Sick! It's down! An opening! It got health back. A lot of health back. <coughs> it's working. Let us push through. Cannon is aiming down it. Yeah. Now an opening. She can use it's my turn. Like that. That's ridiculous. And I did too. I'm up! Okay, what? I don't see a... Oh. Nope. Take this! 
It's my turn! Spirit! I'm up! Sick! It's down! An opening! Let's go! I'm an able. I'll take that. And see this. Let's go. Instantly recovers. Sick. Now. Enlightened domination. It's my turn. It's my turn! Huh. It's down! An opening! It's my turn! Again, CSB. There! Yeah. Sit! Now! It's domination, but what he says... Enlightened domination! Oh, it is domination. He just sounds weird. Say. Let's go! Now! Why? Enlightened domination! Alright, nice work! That was easy. Not much experience. No. What the? Are you alright? Instructor Rain? What was I? Allie! Are you okay? Has she regained consciousness? Everyone. I remember fighting everyone in the mock battle, and then. It would appear her memory is a bit fuzzy. Doesn't look like she's hurt, though. Hey, you better get out of there already. You handle that nicely. Was that one of your eight leaves moves? Yeah, it's a part of the eight form for when you're without a weapon. I'm glad everything turned out okay. You're just full of surprises. What's your take on what just happened? Something must have happened to either a teeny or the machine itself. I can't say she's a bit of a unique case. But uh, it felt like something was wrong with the Goliath itself, too. Yeah, you're right. Either way, it seems the old man's taken an interest in it. Yeah, I'll ask him about it later. You motherfucker. Number 74 has demonstrated it satisfies the conditions. We may now proceed to the final sequence. Makes you wonder who's the real puppet. If it's Climb, Solaris, or Altina. Who's actually controlling who? Wow. 
We're going to have field exercises around the capital. That'll be a nice change of pace. Maybe I can pop back home and pay my family a visit. Wait, so since it overlaps with the summer festival, we can party too, right? Our departure will be early Saturday morning, needless to say we haven't much time. I know the date is close, but make sure you're all fu you're fully prepared. Just like I thought. You hmm? still torn up about what happened earlier? They did say it may have been an issue with the orbital circuitry. There was no damage, so you needn't worry about it further. But I lost consciousness and caused trouble for everyone. It's hard to say what would have happened if the instructor had to stop me. Just put it out of your head. Quit worrying about it. I caused a bunch of trouble back at, back at Crossbell, but it's like all okay now. Hey, I remember you pretty much turning into a shot in after that. That's right, it involved nearly the entire school. Hey, you don't need to dig, a, dig all that up again. As I said before, we are all classmates. If one of us is in need, the rest of us will end our aid. <laughs> Jesus has help, but he's not wrong. The only it's only three, in only three days our special missions will begin. Yep, and we're gonna need your help for sure, Ali. I'm sure we'll find ourselves up against tons of trouble. Everyone. Alright. Your rank, Your rank has increased. Nice. Increase the A. Good. Here's, Here's your reward. reward. Extra guys. Rebel and cross. Ooh, what's that? Hmm. I'm at three thirty four. Damn it. So far from yes. I look, I look forward, forward to next, next time. time. Head so close. That'll be the end of this video. I've got to prepare.